You can get an arch. Some people can get you know, fabulous arch with uh, that, that flexibility uh, in your uh, spine and hips. But your feet have to be flat on the ground, right? So that means toes and heels. Um, and then you will... Uh, if you are going to uh, set a state record, I don't need any form. I, I handle a state record. I don't need any form. I will use the result sheet to tabulate the records. Whatever's on the result sheet is what I will use to um, uh, update the records. So, for example, um, if if uh, if it's not on the res on the on the result sheet. Um, or if the lift is wrong on the result sheet, that needs to get addressed before I can update the record. Because what, what? So, and the way you address that is you've got to write to Rich or Tad because they're the ones that maintain the results. One second, one second. I'll, I'll explain. The other thing with, uh, with state records in Arizona, you must um, exceed the existing state record by two and a half kilos within three attempts. You only get three attempts to break a state record. Fourth attempts are for American or national records, and you can use the chip. The only exception to that is if during one of your three attempts you're going to uh, set a new national record, you can use a chip. Uh, and so I just want everybody to be aware of that because there have been some meets where there's been a little confusion where somebody has used a, a chip for a, uh, for a state record, and I just say, no, it's we. And, and, and the reason. And the reason I've been doing it is it's, it's, that's, that's the precedent that we've been doing here in Arizona uh, since I've been doing the records, which is uh, 13 years now. And um, I think it just needs to be a consistent process. Yes, sir. No, the, I'm sorry. The chip is one kilo. It's a one kilo plane. Yeah. Good question. Thank you. Yeah, I can kind of use the nomenclature down there. Chip is a one kilo plane. All right. Um, anybody else? Equipment for yeah, so if you, if you set a record, stay at the platform, the, one of the judges will check you to make sure that you've got the proper equipment for the uh, division that you're in. That's national level? Uh, no, that's state too. State and national. Um, anybody else? Let's back up to the Kenneth Hammond is the Kenneth Hammond on deck to the Hey, hey, I'm going to 
down on the ground, don't drop it, just take the, let the, help the weight get down to the ground. Um, it's a real simple exercise, or, uh, lift to judge. Um, you know, you're going you're gonna to pull, the bar has to go up one direction, up, uh, can't move, no, no part of the bar can go down, so, so, uh, <laughs> that so if, 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 if you're, you know, people ask about hitching and all that, well, what's going to happen when you hitch? You know, the, the bar, part of the bar is probably going to go down along the way. You can't drag, you know, kind, kind of drag the bar along your, uh, along your legs. I mean, you've got to, you've got to be pulling it up. You can't kind of rest it on your legs and kind of get up. You'll get a red light for that. Um, your feet, again, have to be stationary on the ground. You can't, you know, be dancing with your, with your legs. Um, and again, just, you know, go up to the bar. You're not going to get a lift command. You're not going to get a start command. Uh, go pull and listen for the down command. Um, that one most, I, I don't see too many red lights for uh, lowering the bar before, before it's time, unless you know, it's just too heavy, right? And you just you can't hold on to it. But, that's, but in the deadlift, that's one of the important things. You want to know that you've got control of the lift at the end. So um, you, know, you can finish the lift, and then you'll get the down command, and then you can help the bar down. Don't just drop it. I've seen some people do that. Uh, that really, that hurts the floor. Uh, you, you might get uh, kicked out of the, the, uh, uh, the event if you do that. Um, yeah, oh, with deadlifts, you do need to wear some kind of shoe. Um, it can be a slipper, but you do need to wear uh, socks that go up to your knee. Uh, we do that for uh, health purposes. Uh, it's those bars you have a lot of knurling on. It's really good for the grip. But it also, if you're doing the lift properly, uh, you're going to get some drag along your shins, and you're going to most likely uh, cut up your skin and draw a little blood, and you want to keep that blood off the bar. So you must, you must, and no exceptions on this, you must wear socks. If you don't have socks, if you forgot socks, you know, Walmart's down the road, you can get some, maybe one of your training partners can, can help out. Um, yeah, or just cut the toes out. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, cut the toes out. Yeah, you just got to have your shins covered. You just got to have your shins covered. Any questions on the deadlift? Yes, sir. Can you wear knee sleeves instead of socks for covering your shins? Um, I don't think so. You have socks, 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 socks. Yeah, socks. No, you, you, you need to be, it needs to be socks. Right? Yeah. Well, I mean, if you're in it can't be tape, it can't, it needs to be socks. It needs to be socks. It needs to be socks. Be socks. Yeah. If you want to still wear any, I think you can still wear any sleeves if you want to, um, burn equipped, but you can't, then they Not just can't touch. Not for power sports, yeah. 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 yeah, that's the other part. That's a, good, I'm glad you mentioned that. Let me mention this too. Um, some of the folks with shorter legs, you are, you will find that your singlet will go down kind of mid thigh, and you're, you'll be able to wrap your knees to where you know you've got a nice no skin showing, right? You've got to have a little the the, the the knee wraps cannot touch the singlet, so there needs to be some separation there. Um, you taller lifters, you probably wonder you know what's what's that all about? Um, don't worry about. It. We just need to see some skin there, and so if you cut so and and. and this is where it's really important because you know you, you, you sit there, you've got your training partners wrapping you up real tight, and, and you know you're and you're going to be hobbling to the squat bar, and don't come to the squat bar if there's no skin exposed. So tell whoever's wrapping yourself, if you're wrapping yourself, to make sure there's a little room between the singlet because we're going to send you back. You might miss the lift. It's going to you have to rewrap again. The time, your time's going to expire, and, and uh, so just make sure that that's taken care of before you get to the platform. Again, no reason why um, kind of explaining that to you now that that, uh, that should be addressed before you get to the platform. What about the socks? Socks. Socks. Oh, and socks, yeah, in socks too. So it needs to be sock, skin, knee sleeve, knee wrap, or whatever, skin, singlet. Everybody got that? Great. 
great. Thank you. Yes, sir. Uh, is it allowed to wear a, uh, a, a wrap on one knee when you deadlift? Okay, so you can um, you can wear it for deadlift except power sports. You cannot have anything on your knee if you're a power sports. You can do an unequipped or any other kind of uh, uh, power lifting or foot power things. Or just you know, deadlift. Uh, yes, you can wear it on your knee. Yep. Yep. Yeah, yeah, good, good point. Yeah, and, and again, in, in the deadlift, um, just make sure, thank you, just make sure that uh, you will not get the down command until you have, have completely locked out the deadlift so that your, your hips are, are slightly extended, your shoulders are back, you've completed the deadlift, you're not kind of punched out like this, kind of waiting. We want to see, you know, that you've, you've uh, fully completed the deadlift. Thank you, Mike. Any questions, sir? Uh, this is just a point. I yeah. I've gotten the red lights because I got up to the top and then kind of let my shoulders sink. And the bar went down before I got the down command and I got busted. You know what, that's, that is excellent. There's experience right there. Listen to what he just said. Uh, once you complete it, you know, remain stationary until you get that down command. Don't let, don't get relaxed. If you relax before that, the bar is going to go down and you're going to get a red light. Somebody back here had a question. Yes. Do you have to wear a shirt during Yeah, you have to wear a shirt, but you can, you, you can be sleeping. You don't need a shirt. Oh, yeah. Singlet. You do have to have a singlet. Okay. Thank you. What is this, the longest rules meeting in history? I'm trying to go fast. There's just a lot of questions. <laughs> we don't want to pay. I've, I've emphasized five times. Listen, listen, I've emphasized five times. 